Brolin would look like in a beard <laughs> I, I like that. I thought it was Grizzly Adams for a second. I'm going, why are we doing a story about Grizzly Adams? So he's refused to shave. Mm -hmm. I don't have a thick beard like that. Mm. Well, we were going to suggest maybe that you refuse to shave until we see snow sticking to the valley floor, but mm. that sounds like it's going to happen tomorrow. That, so then I'll get a 5 o'clock shadow, and that's about it. And I, that's about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's tomorrow. Tomorrow, the storm system that's headed this way is going to generate some snow. Now I understand what you were saying, Mr. Producer. Okay, so time lapse video. As I mentioned before, we got a storm that's on the way. It will generate snow down to the valley floor, but this is an absolutely gorgeous sight. Man, did we need to see some of this snow finally sticking to our ski resorts. We're getting that. This is the first time in weeks that we have seen snow on the valley floor up there in the Sun Valley itself. So really, really nice and a welcome sight. Look at the blue skies and the sunshine contrasted with that beautiful snow that's covering those mountains. So yes, more is on the way. While we're sitting dry right now in the Treasure Valley, we're going to continue to see increasing clouds this evening as the leading edge of this fairly small storm system moves in from the northwest. Now notice it's generating almost all snow on the leading edge of the system as the storm system pours over the Cascades of Washington and Oregon. It's encountering cold air that's already trapped at the surface. That is a perfect scenario to see snow. So this system as the warmer air starts to move in from the northwest it's going to encounter this very cold air that's trapped at the surface that means that it will generate snow as it moves in so 34 degrees right now in boise 37 degrees in ontario 18 in mccall 13 in stanley 22 degrees right now in the sun valley area and here's the weather headlines snow is expected tomorrow morning it's not going to be a big storm about one inch, maybe a half inch to one inch of snow is expected. But any snow that falls on the frozen roadways equates to a potential problem, especially since the timing of tomorrow's storm is going to be just in time for the morning commute. Then a bigger storm is on the way Thursday. It too should be a snowmaker. We're going to continue to see accumulating snow up in the mountains and even more storms are on the horizon. The long range models are just saying bottom line is through the middle of December it looks like we're going to be seeing what I call a fairly hyperactive weather pattern. Hyperactive pattern because here's a storm here, here's additional systems coming in. It's almost like a never-ending stream of moisture that wants to move in our general vicinity. So first of all, we got that low that comes in tomorrow morning. Then there's the next storm. That's Thursday's storm. So numerous systems are lining up. And the way the jet stream is poised right now, almost all of those storms will be favoring the northwestern corner of the country and then moving over the state of Idaho. So storm timing, we're talking about the one tomorrow morning. Then the bigger storm comes in on Thursday. Something else comes in here on Friday. And then again, even more storms are expected next week. So here's the timing with the future cast. Let's see exactly what time the system comes in. Starts working its way into western Idaho and the Treasure Valley right around 4 to 5 o'clock in the morning, just in time for the morning commute. And then by mid-morning, or I'd say by lunch, the storm is already moving off into the Magic Valley. We'll probably see some sunshine in the afternoon. And then on Wednesday, it's going to be mostly dry, but there's the leading edge of the bigger storm that heads this way on Thursday. Seven-day forecast for the Treasure Valley. Let's go with morning snow. About a half an inch to one inch is expected. Then on Wednesday, plenty of sunshine, but it's going to be cold. Here comes the bigger storm on Thursday. We'll have to see, but I think maybe one to two inches of snow out of that system in the valley floor on Thursday. And then a rain-snow mix is expected on Friday. Rain-snow showers early Saturday, and even more storms are possible next week. The mountains are going to be seeing some snow about one to two inches, or let's say one to three inches tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies on Wednesday. Here comes the bigger storm Thursday, and it's not solid snow, but it's periods of snow or snow showers on again, off again, through the weekend into the first of next week. Whew, I'm tired. Excited though. <laughs> that look, was a lot. Look at the clear skies, minus five yeah. temperatures overnight. It's Ooh. gonna get cold, so the cold air is in place. The storm should generate snow on the okay. valley floor now. All right. Coming up on K2.